Hey everyone, CNC Keith here with yet again another CNC DIY video. In this video, I'm going to go over how to program the aux keys and the macro buttons on the MPG. Alrighty, let's get started. I've got my particular machine here all set up for a typical CNC router. I'm going to go ahead and push aux 8. And when aux 8 is pushed, there's a program a macro already pre-written that fires that's been programmed to the aux 8 button that macro is called mfunk 55.mac and the instructions on the screen say hey all you got to do to program aux 8 is go edit that macro so let me show you how to do that i'm going to hit escape and the instruction said go to the c drive and then pick cnc m and then I'm going to scroll down until I see mfunk55 and I'm going to right click edit with notepad++ you could edit with any editor you want but notepad is my favorite notepad++ alrighty the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a put a semicolon in front of that line there m25 and what that does is comment that out and if you look at that line 13 that begins with M25. That is the line that displays the message on the screen when you hit the AUX8 button. Alrighty, as an example for AUX8, let's say I wanted AUX8 to, oh, let's do something easy for starters. Uh, G0, X0, Y0. Rapid traverse to X0, Y0, G0. I'll put some nice capitals in here so x zero y zero so what i've done is i just added this line that says rapid traverse to x zero y zero and i'm going to come up here and hit file save now let's go back to cnc 12 and watch what happens when i hit aux 8 guess what it goes to x zero y zero pretty cool same thing for aux 9 aux 9 is mapped to mfunk 56 Alrighty, let's hit escape and let's go find mfunk56 and click edit with notepad++. Alrighty, first thing I'm going to do is comment out that m25 line. And how about let's go to the machine uh, home position. There's a number of different ways to do this. Uh, I happen to know that there is a macro already pre-written called m69. So you can call a macro within a macro, and that's what I'm doing right now. So right now, mfunk56, which is mapped to the aux9 button, will simply run m69 when I press it. Let's go ahead and hit save, and let's hit aux9 now. And what aux9 uh, just did is it ran the M69 macro. Well, what exactly is that macro? Well, we can go look at it, but uh, let's check it out here. Let's go look at it. M69 is one of the CAN macros that comes with CNC12. It's fully editable, obviously. It's got lots of nice notes here. It lets you know what's going on. But this moves all axes to the machine zero position. Alrighty, how do I know that I'm a machine zero? Right now it says work coordinate number one. This DRO is displaying the distance of the center line of the spindle from the work coordinate. That's a part zero position. If you want to see your position relative to machine home, push the Alt key and D, the letter D, at the same time, and you'll notice in the upper left hand corner it has changed from work coordinate number one to machine coordinates. So this is the distance we are from home. So right now we're sitting at home. And that's what I just programmed the X9, uh, aux9 button to do. I'll demonstrate that again. I'll just go ahead and move each axis. And I'm going to hit the aux9 button. And while I'm in machine coordinates, you'll see it move back to zero. If I hold the Alt-D key down and, uh, and press again, Alt and D, it goes back to the work coordinate system which is simply the distance the, that we are from G0. Um, <clears throat> work coordinate number one, G54. So if I hit aux8, you'll notice that now aux8 goes to G0, X0. So that's an example on how easy it is to program some aux keys to do what you want. Uh, aux10 is also available as well. 
And you can see aux 10 is programmed to M57, and I would simply do the same thing. I would just come up here, right-click, Edit Notepad++, and type in, comment out that M2225 line, and type in whatever you want right here. Another cool thing I could do is um, let's come up with another example for M57. There's a there's a cool feature in the wizard that allows you to edit the stock um, park program right here. Override the default park behavior. Parking is parking the machine uh, close to the limit switches or home switches so that when you power it up in the morning, you're not having to traverse like a huge machine a long distance at a slow feed rate to home out in the morning. And park is just a convenient uh, little macro so that the machine automatically moves close to those home switches when you're shutting down at the end of the day. Well, if I hit edit park, um, I could edit this program and what this does then is it will change the functionality of this button right here, F1 park, to whatever I tell it to do, which is really cool. But let's say I wanted aux 10 to do the same thing. So what I could do is I could highlight this sample code that's in here and I could go back to aux 10, paste it in there and get rid of the semicolons to uncomment those lines and click File, Save. Now when I hit aux 10, it will actually run. Let's go ahead and get back to the main screen, aux 10. It will run that park program. Alrighty, it just parked the machine one inch away from home. So let's check that out. If I hit Alt D, you'll see that it has parked the machine one inch away from home on X and Y and a quarter inch away from the home switch on Z. So this is a nice place to shut the machine down at this point in time so that when you come back in the morning and hit cycle start to home it out, that it's close to the park position. Alrighty, so I have programmed three aux keys here that were available. There's also four macro buttons available on the MPG. So in the menu under the wireless MPG, you can edit them right here. So if I hit it, hit edit macro one, it's kind of similar to the sample macros uh, in aux keys there that we did. I'm going to comment out that comment out that M225 line and type in whatever you want this particular button to do on the MPG and hit File, Save. 